So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Accenture Hack Diva. The registrations are currently open. So this is your chance to get a job with Accenture or an internship with Accenture and you can win a lot of prizes. So what is this program all about? Everything we are going to discuss today. And to discuss all about Accenture Hack Diva, we have with us Anusha Reddy, who uh, last year was the winner of Accenture Hack Diva, and she won a MacBook through it. And apart from that, she has also been an intern with Amazon, and she is currently she's completed her BTech from Keshav Memorial Institute of Technology, and finally she'll be joining uh, Gap INC as a software engineer. But since she cleared Hack Diva last year, uh, I think she's the perfect person to tell us all about you know how was the process, uh, can you get an internship or a job in Accenture, everything. So welcome Anusha. Uh, hi, Amisha. Thank you for inviting me here to share my experience about the Hack Diva contest. Like I'll be sharing, uh, I'll be sharing my experience uh, about the Hack Diva contest, and it would be useful useful for the uh, participants who will be uh, registering for uh, upcoming uh, Hack Diva contest. Uh, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the process. So, first of all, uh, why should you apply to Accenture Hack Diva? What is it about, and why you should apply? Yeah, Accenture Hack Diva is a hackathon where we will be uh, uh, focusing on one particular problem statement. So here we can be uh, like it is a direct uh, uh, like solving a problem on a lead code or code chef problem. So where you can be like choosing of any uh, programming language uh, and can be directly uh, apply your uh, logic and uh, do the uh, respective uh, uh, code and it's a very uh, well uh, planned contest where uh, we can see the uh, very medium to hard range of problems through Accenture Hack Diva contest uh, we will be uh, winning an exciting uh, cash uh, exciting prizes cash prizes and the uh, goodies like the Apple MacBook and Apple iPad and uh, Bose speaker and top 10 uh, runner ups can also win the 5000 INR uh, each and this is uh, the one which is uh, exciting uh, to see in Accenture Hack Diva. And also we have an amazing opportunities uh, through Accenture Hack Diva who have the participants who have registered uh, here can also get an opportunity uh, through Accenture, uh, which is a fast track recruitment process. So you get exciting prizes like Apple MacBook as you had won and Apple iPad and so on. And also, you also get a chance to participate in the fast track process. So you might get a job or internship. Great, great. So who all are eligible? What is the eligibility criteria? Eligibility criteria for participating in Accenture Hack Diva contest. It is only for the female candidates and it is for it is like individual participants, not a team, not a team. And so the female candidates from all the branches of BE or BTEC or MA or MTech or MCA and MSc like only CS and IT students who will be graduating in 2023 and 2024, who, who graduated in 2023 and 2024 with full-time education are eligible to participate in this Hack Center Hack Diva. And uh, the students who are in uh, first year, second year, third year engineering students are not eligible to apply. And you can also get the detailed eligibility. So I'll give you the link in the description to apply. So their eligibility is mentioned. So you can read that also. So, uh, okay, so first of all, one clarification, it's not a hackathon, it's basically just a coding contest, right? And we have, different, uh, first we have qualifiers, semi-final and finals. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just can you tell the uh, structure, program structure in brief, like? Yeah, like this program structure, uh, going to the program structure, there will be a three rounds. So first round is a qualifier round one. Uh, this is a 90 minutes eliminator round. Like here, it the name mentioned here is hackathon, but in this contest, we are preferred to have a uh, one coding. Uh, we are preferred to choose any of the programming language and be solving a pro one programming coding question. So this overall contest is on the solving a uh, challenging coding uh, problem by choosing our own uh, programming language, which we are which we are preferred to do, and 
in from this round only the best will uh, be qualified to the semi final round which is round 2 so in this semi final round also there will be a say, uh, there will be a uh, one there will be only one coding question so here also as in the earlier uh, round one same we can choose uh, any uh, any programming language and solve a coding problem uh, in this round two as well, we we are uh, we have only one coding question. So like uh, before, it is a ninety minutes eliminator round. Here it is a twenty minutes round. So here thirty minutes uh, uh, minutes will be added extra to the round two. So where it is an added advantage, but the competition will be tough. So we need to solve uh, the coding question in the most uh, 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 lesser time so we will get a chance to the uh into the next round uh so the round three is the finale round where in the final round here is also same it is same as round two uh giving a one coding question in our uh, preferable programming language we can uh prefer to do that coding question and same based upon the uh time efficiency memory efficiency of our code and also the logical correctness and the use of efficient uh, uh, variables like the meaningful variables and uh, like this is we can say semantic analysis so like these are all the uh, parameters uh, where our score will be automated and will be calculated so based upon this uh, in every round we will be moving further Okay, so first of all, the first round is qualifier round, right? Mm -hmm. So you said it's a 90 minute eliminator round and you can choose a programming language of your own, like whatever you like to choose. Mm -hmm. So what is it and how was your experience? What are the questions and what is the level of the questions asked generally? Yeah, in 90 minutes eliminator round, I could say like it is medium, medium lead code question. So this uh, medium question, like it is more focused on the optimization problem, like not only in the first round, every in every round, the pro the domain is there focused on uh, the overall contest, uh, the problem they are focusing on the optimization problems. So so we can say in the first round, uh, I, I can say it is a medium problem, lead code medium problem. So how many people give this round and how many people go to the next round, if you remember? Uh, like if I remember, like the participants were uh, around uh, 20,000 uh, women uh, candidates when I participated. OK. And uh, how many participants like, reached the next round, if you remember? Like I don't remember. Like they 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 won't uh, uh, reveal out that number. Like directly we can get get know by the last round. Like who are the winner and all that's it. Okay, got it. So they don't reveal that. Yeah. So uh, do you remember the questions of the qualifier round? Uh, exactly, I don't remember it, but I could say it is on the uh, logistics and uh, optimization problem which is like focusing on uh, how to optimize uh, like giving the limitations uh, for an uh, like suppose uh, if there is any uh, item so based upon that item uh, like how to put it in a particular uh, box or anything so based upon that uh, requirement we need to optimize it uh, so minimize it and get it the answer like exactly i don't remember it like as i Go, gone through several uh, assessments and all participated in several uh, 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 recruitment process. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I'll also add the link to some Accenture Hack Diva experiences that people had. So there's a geek, Geeks for Geeks link and all. So you can go and check that in the description. So I think that will be useful. And that people have also mentioned the questions that were asked. So that you can check out. OK, so coming to the next round, that is semi-final round. So this is a 120 minute round, right? So what were the questions and how difficult was this round? Uh, this round, as it is a 120 minutes round, uh, it is uh, like the question were, the question is, um, I could say lead code medium to hard problem. Uh, same as I, uh, as I said in the round one, uh, round one question, it is also focused on the optimization problem. 
so i could say here more of uh, how to optimize it so we need to first uh, to like to face this problem we need to first uh, go through the problem statement uh, twice and thrice and analyze it so after reading the question uh, like how far you are able to understand it and uh, like get it in the uh, real world scenario like how you will tackle it in the real world scenario if this problem comes to you so think in that way and uh, get it an approach and dry run with your own examples uh, and also if there are uh, like it there will be a uh, test cases uh, in that uh, for the given question so you can also dry run with that uh, test cases and check your logic uh, so i could say uh, for uh, this is all the optimization problem like we can uh, think it in a real world scenario and like finally we can write it our logic in the form of code got it, got it. okay and finally, the finale round, uh, it was basically, from what I can see, uh, this is, again, a 120-minute challenge. So how many people were there? What kind of questions were there? Like, uh, I don't know how many people have uh, got, got through the uh, round three, but uh, the problem, I could say, is also lead code medium to hard problem here. But uh, but here the problem focused particularly we need to get an uh, generate an algorithm uh, for this problem solving uh, where uh, here it is focused on the domain of uh, logistics and optimization. So here we need to develop an efficient algorithm to load uh, items onto trucks considering weight limitations for each uh, chamber while ensuring the optimal distribution across trips and trucks so i think i remember that it is a army load simulator like problem statement is army load simulator so we here mostly the problem focused on the weight limitation part how far we will be able to uh, put it in the uh, for all the tip, trips and trucks how far we will be able to put that packages uh, by ensuring uh, weight limitations mentioned for each truck the round three question was focused on this uh, problem statement uh, like i saw it is uh, medium to hard uh, but mostly uh, uh, like if we uh, like as i said before like if we focus on the uh, reading of a question twice or thrice until we understand and get a, a log a logic to that by thinking in a real world scenario how we can tackle that problem and writing the uh, like a dry run with your own examples or the given test cases for the problem and get it in a, a simpler way first try to uh, go get the most optimized one like uh, there will be a time constraints even so by checking the time constraints like uh, how far this problem can be solved in a uh, less uh, most optimized uh, time so and also don't forget to uh, focus on the uh, time complexity memory complexity and uh, using of uh, semantic uh, meaningful variables okay yeah. okay so all of these things also matter that what uh, yeah so as it is mentioned that they will be looking at four parameters right time efficiency memory efficiency logical correctness and semantic analysis so uh, so okay so variable naming and all should also be good yeah our score will be calculated based upon this four major parameters got it okay so uh, what would you suggest that if someone wants to clear accenture hack diva so what should be the preparation strategy for dsa and all for my dsa preparation basically striver sd sheet has helped me and some of the youtube channels uh, like alpha apna college uh, and also striver uh, take you forward so these two youtube channels has uh, made me uh, uh, come up to here like winning the hack uh, accenture hack diva and also getting in uh, almost uh, like uh, two to three uh, companies uh, so i could say first thing uh, to tackle a problem first thing is to focus on uh, reading uh, reading the problem twice and twice until you understand second second you need to focus on uh, like 
if that problem was given to you in the real world case how you will be able to solve it so think in that way and get that logic and use the uh, relevant uh, uh, data structures and get it in in the code form so and also don't forget to dry run uh, dry run with your own examples or the given examples so this is what the suggestion i'll give so okay so this is fine but uh, how do i get a job or an internship at accenture uh, what was the process for that like do you get it through hack diva or is it a separate thing or how does it go yeah like uh, when we register for accenture hack diva contest like we will be getting an offer like every participant who will register here for this hack diva will get an opportunity to participate in accenture fast track recruitment process so after registering for hack diva that uh, we will be getting an update from accenture team to register for this fast track recruitment process even so there will be another uh, registration for the recruitment process where there will be entire uh, like we should fill every uh, like our government id proof and th that all will be asked here in that uh, fast track recruitment process uh, so when registering to that process we need to keep in mind uh, like check thoroughly to to your with your uh, details so that you will be getting an email with whenever the uh, assessment starts for every candidate so like every round is an eliminatory round the first assessment will be focusing on technical logical aptitude stuff and totally mcqs like there will be 80 m 80 to 90 mcqs if a participant qualifies in the first round, then uh, we'll, uh, moving to the uh, second round, where in the second round, it is a technical coding stuff. We need to code uh, two problems. So if a participant uh, solves two problems, then only uh, uh, they are eligible for the third round, third assessment, where third assessment focuses on communication round, where we need to speak out of totally English uh, the english grammar uh, and uh, if like i think it is not an eliminatory round but uh, if a person of uh, complete co comes up to the communication round then they will be uh, eligible for the interview round uh, so a further interview process uh, like uh, we we need to choose a, a preferred slot for that so basically it's a 30 min 30 minute slot uh, and in the 30 minutes uh, we'll get an we'll receive an interview uh, call so in that interview uh, time only we need to we need to attempt that interview and like around that the interview process interview process goes on for the 20 minutes duration and like in the interview, uh, like we will, the interviewer will be focusing more on the behavioral stuff rather than technical stuff. As uh, as the there are uh, assessment mostly focusing on the uh, technical stuff, like coding stuff. So in the interview, there will be the interviewer mostly focuses on the behavioral stuff. And if a participant finishes. Uh, after finishes and qualifies for the in the interview then they will get a uh, offer for the full time or uh, internship based upon the graduation year so okay finally before we go uh, any tips for this uh, accenture hack diva contest since you cleared all the three and you won it so any tips that you think might be useful yeah so to uh, i can give the tip uh, for this, uh, for the Accenture uh, hack device, like not only Accenture hack device or any hackathon or any contest, uh, like mainly being patient, being focused, and being attentive will keep, uh, like, will be give us, will be giving us the uh, boost uh, to tackle any problem. Like, even if we feel uh, it's a problem is harder, but uh, by being focused to that and being attentive to that uh, problem, we we'll, we can able to tackle it. Thank you so much for the detailed responses, Anusha. I'm sure this is going to help anyone who's registering for the Hack Diva contest. Thank you for you too, Amisha, like giving me an opportunity uh, to share my experiences on Accenture Hack Diva. Thank you. Okay. And I also put your LinkedIn and all in the description. So if anyone has any questions, you can hit Anusha.
yeah like most people are reaching out to me via linkedin and ask me questions how to prepare it